here. Um, I'm doing another video today, and um, anyway, I'm gonna pull out some of the guns real quick because I'm doing the top my top five blasters of all time, and um, I just first I'm gonna do top five pistols, and then um, top five big blasters. So. So yeah, it's gonna be a little crazy, I guess, but, um, you're gonna have to deal with that. Anyway, um, I just gotta grab one more out of here, I think. Yeah. Alright, so, I'm not doing the, uh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. Where is it? Hold on, I gotta find that gun. No. Honestly, guys, I don't know where that gun is, but, um, uh, hold on a sec, I think I know where it is. Yep. Alright. So, first, top five pistols. We're starting from smallest to biggest. Okay. So, first, Number five, we have the Jolt. This one is modified, but I love the Jolt. I took the air restrictor out. I took this orange thing off of it. It's a really nice shooter. Shoots so like 60 feet angled. It's a nice gun. Good for modding. Anyway, uh, shoots nice. It's a really good gun. It's even got a sight on it once you take this orange piece off. And uh, that's a really good gun. Alright, number two, or number four, it's also modified, but uh, it is the Mega Big Shock, which is basically a bigger jolt. I took the air restrictor out and I put the pipe in it. It's a nice gun though, but it's horribly inaccurate when uh, you first get it, so I definitely recommend doing this mod right here. Um, number three, we have the Nerf Triad. It's not modified at all and it gets really good range. If there was any confusion in the last video when I said it shoots 60 feet, I meant it shoots 60 feet angled. Other than that, it shoots like 45, 50 feet. Yeah, I've had this gun for a long time. Alright, number four, or number two, the Nerf Zombie Strike Hammer Shot. Like I said, I'm not doing the, um, wait a sec, yeah. Yes, yeah, the hammer shot. It's got five shots in it. Tactical rail. It's really nice. Like, just a test shot. And something like that. Anyway, it's a really nice gun. Now, number one. Definitely the Mega Cyclone Shock. Really good gun. And it's the. Uh, there's a lot of mods you can do to it, like I said in the last video, and it shoots like 90 feet when I'm modded. So that's really good. I put pipe in it. Um, I'm actually not going to repeat myself. If you guys really want to see the mods for this, just um, look at another video I made. Anyway, that's my top five pistols. Alright, so now we're going to do um, top five primaries. So... Um... Okay, so, I guess fifth place goes to this guy. This is a swarm fire. It's got a stock attachment point, but there's only one stock for it. And it's full auto. You put load the darts right here. Really nice gun. It's awesome. But I don't like flywheels that much, so, yeah. Alright. Number three. Actually... Um, that's not number five. This is number five. If I had to pick one for number five, it'd be the Centurion, but I'm not pulling that out because it's just a horrible gun. Number four would go to this guy. Number three. Sling fire. I took the jam door off it because it kept on jamming and stuff. It's jammed like 20 times on me now, so I hate this gun. But it's number three because it gets good ranges. Number two, the Alpha Trooper, Elite XD. 
definitely a good gun. I recommend getting this, but it's worth a lot of money now, so I might even sell it. Depends on how much you're willing to offer for it. Anyway, um, that's number two. And then we have number one, which, who, why wouldn't it be the, not be the long shot? Now, I gotta say, this thing's really good for modding and stuff. So I suggest you get one. They still have them at Toys R Us, I think. Last time I was there, they had a couple. All they have, though, is the Zombie Strike one. And the mods, like I said, are in another video. And you can just check that out on my channel. Anyway, so pretty decent video. And um, I know I went through this kind of fast, but I already posted a video today. And I don't want you guys to get too annoyed with me. But uh, um, this is video number two for today. And in case you guys didn't read my notes in my channel, starting every Saturday, like starting next Saturday and from then on, every Saturday I'm going to do a vlog saying how my week has been and stuff like that, where you can see what it might, what I do during the day and stuff. Might be boring, might not. If I get a bunch of views on it, I might continue it, but that depends on the first one. Anyway, um, really neat guns. Anyways, Mark Henson here, signing off.